So I got a couple of plans, as you can see, over the years that I've been collecting, and all of these are actually blueprints from scratch-built kits. And what I was thinking would be really cool is to take one of these and actually mount it on some canvas and put it up behind me on the wall. How cool would that be? That would be actually pretty cool. Having found my favorite plans, I measured each one and headed out to gather supplies. I stopped at Michael's because number one, they're nearby. And number two, they have a huge selection of canvases, which is exactly what I needed for a project like this. To be perfectly honest, I eventually just threw out my measurements and started playing around until I found a combination that I really liked. Canvas selection complete, I needed to find a set of paintbrushes, a mega pack of Velcro picture strips, and the key ingredient, Mod Podge. Supplies in hand, it was time to check out and get to work. Step one is to iron the plans flat. Use the dry setting on the iron, not steam, and remove as many of the creases and folds as possible. The plans don't need to be completely flat, they just need to be manageable. Next, take the largest brush from the pack and cut the bristles back to one and a half inches. This brush, now stiffened, will be used to remove air bubbles and to work the paper into the canvas. I always double check my designs to confirm the exact arrangement of the canvases. This plan was huge, so I just trimmed off some excess. With the plan face down, map your canvas edges. Then measure one inch out from each edge. This is where you will cut. You'll need to add at least one extra inch to the height and width of each canvas to allow you to fully wrap the plans around the sides and the back. Mark up arrows and canvas center points for each cut. These guides will help you in gluing and ensure everything is aligned and facing the right direction. Don't use the Mod Podge as is from the bottle. It's just too thick and dries too fast. Using water, thin out the mixture and store it in a recycled container. You'll also need a spray bottle filled with water. Working quickly, brush a generous amount of the Mod Podge onto the canvas. Give it a thick coat. When done, give the canvas a few sprays of water to prevent the glue from drying. Tape the plan to the table and cover the entire surface with Mod Podge. Use your marks from earlier to center the plan and orient the direction of the canvas. Spray the canvas with water. The added moisture relaxes the paper, makes it easier to work with, and keeps the glue from drying. Starting from the center, use the clipped brush to work out any large air bubbles and work the plan into the canvas. Don't worry if it's not perfectly flat. The canvas will pull tighter as it dries and will remove any rough areas. Flip the canvas over and start working the edges. When in doubt, spray the canvas and paper to keep it wet and workable.
When you're done, set the canvas aside and let it dry overnight. Stick the Velcro hanging strips towards the top of each of the canvases. Use painter's tape to map the design to your wall and hang in place. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy your new masterpiece.